Welcome to this Reaxis tutorial. Today we are going to look at how to search for substances, how to search for reactions, and a little bit about how to search for substances with certain properties. Let's start with how to search for a substance. To search for a substance, press the Substance and Properties tab, and then either generate the structure from the name, or double click here. You may have to download Java for this to work. We'll search for a simple ester. The most common atoms are found here. If you need other atoms, you can find them here in the periodic system. The bonds are found here. For stereo bonds, go here. And if you want to draw a chain, well, you can go here. And this is the eraser. For rings, you have a few templates up here. Click the type of atom you want, push the mouse button, drag and drop. Then make sure it's connected by seeing this blue circle, drag and drop. Substances are saturated by default, but if we want to remove this hydrogen in order to create an acid, just add a double bond. And if we add a carbon here, the hydrogen is removed. Now we have drawn our ester. Click Transfer Query. It will appear here. And now we have to choose if we want to search for it as drawn or as a substructure. For this tutorial, we'll search everything as drawn and ignore these. Click on Search. 68 hits and the top one is the one we searched for. Below it are some isotopes and similar things. But if you order your results according to the number of references you'll get the most common compounds at the top. A lot of information can be found at the substance screen. First we have identification. This is things like name, molecular formula and things like that. Then we have the physical data and this is one of the best points of Reaxis. There is a lot of empirical data for uh, substances that is very hard to find in other places. Yeah, melting point, boiling point, critical temperature, well, there are hundreds of different types of data. We also get a reference that tells us from which experiment this data was obtained. We also have spectra. Most of the time you won't actually see the spectra, but you'll get a reference where you can find the spectra and it will tell you what kind of spectra it is. And things like tests for toxicity, use patterns, etc. The reactions of this compound can also very easily be accessed from the substance table. If we want to find out how to make the compound, we click the 130 preparations here. And if we also want reactions where this is reactant, then we click all of the reactions here. Let's look at how to make this compound. We get all sorts of reactions here. And note that the reactions, as they are listed here, can often be several different reactions. This has the same reactant and product, but it uses different reagents, solvents, and catalysts. And it's the same for most reactions. And sometimes you have to click here to show the remaining so-called details but these details are basically different types of reactions. Now, if we are looking for reactions in a special type of solvent, for instance, we can go here to the filters. Let's look for reactions in water. We click it here, and if we hadn't seen it, we could click more here to get more solvents. Mark water and click limit to. And now we'll get the reactions where the solvent is water. If we have a very specific idea of what we want our reaction to look like, we should do a reaction search instead. Let's look at how to do that. Click Query and click the Reactions tab. Let's say that we want to find references on how to make this ester from an acid and an alcohol. Make sure that you are in the Reactions tab. Double click here. We want to move our molecule to the right. Move the Close cursor the structure over the molecule and make sure that you get the square. Then you can move it. Draw the reactants.
and then in order to turn it into a reaction go to this arrow and point it towards the product and we have a reaction transfer the query make sure you have product here that will be the case automatically if you have a reaction arrow here and make sure it's also as drawn click search now we only get two reactions and one is exactly as we have drawn it note that the reactions will usually be ordered according to yield if you need to do a reaction in several steps this is very easy click here on synthesize under the desired product this will take you to synthesis plans now click synthesize on one of the reactants that you want to make and you will get a list of all of the reactions making that substance select one or more and click add selected and you will now have this reaction and note that you have the details down here if you want to put this in a PDF or on a paper click on output synthesis plans desired format here you'll have to wait for a while when it's finished loading click download and you'll have your reaction without the pretty colors and the details down here note that if you want to save your work make sure that you register and that you are logged in when you're working this will help out a lot your previous searches are saved under the history tab and there you can also save them going back to the query and substance and properties tab we're now gonna look at a sort of unique feature in Reaxis we are going to search for a substance based on its properties that is if we want a substance with for instance a particular boiling point and a particular melting point we can find all substances that are like that go to the properties advanced tab physical data and we're gonna go for melting point mark it and melting point most of the time you would actually want to search for a range so it's between click here minus two to two degrees click transfer and then we'll go to boiling point click here over here you'll now see the boolean operator in this case select and and once again let's search for range 98 to 102 and here is the important part the boiling point is dependent on the pressure so here we don't select and instead we select proximity and we'll have to do this in tar so 750 to 770 that's pretty much one atmosphere get 11 hits and of course the most common one is water and we get something here called hit data this is what I've searched for and what we've gotten a hit on so let's click on the boiling point we see several measurements of a boiling point at 100 degrees and at a pressure of 760 torrs or around that range so this is what we want let's look at the melting point as well yeah the melting point that we want so good answer we also get ethanol and why do we get this well here is the reason it's because they've me measured the whole range here and under whole range of pressures the boiling points around 100 degrees were actually gotten at quite high pressures but we'll get answers like this unless we take rather drastic measures okay so remember that thing about the proximity operator let's go back and look at our query let's change the proximity operator to and just to illustrate what will happen click search we get many more hits water will be at the top ethanol will be here again let's look at this one to illustrate what has happened see the boiling point here is 183 and so on and so on and so on but the pressure is correct and here we get the correct temperature range but the pressure is way off and when you use the AND operator all that you, you require is that somewhere among the boiling points the pressure will be the correct one and somewhere 
the temperature range will be okay but it doesn't have to be in the same row proximity however demands that it's in the same row okay so why don't we put proximity uh, between the boiling point and the melting point well that's because boiling point and melting point are two completely different fields there's no way that melting point and boiling point could be on the same row as they are different fields so putting proximity between these two would result in zero results there are a lot of properties that you can search for here so if you're working with anything where properties of materials are important and especially if several properties together are important make sure to take a look in reaxis and look through the subfields as well let's summarize we have gone through how to search for substance how to search for reactions and do note here that you can put together several reactions into a reaction map called the synthesis plan and we've also looked at how we can find compounds that have specific properties and this is one of the best points of reaxis that they have a lot of properties for a lot of substances in the database having problems ask at the kth library or take an information searching course at the library you can find more information at our homepage. thank you